Hello YouTube, welcome to the seat cover install. This is according to per whatever the instructions. This thing is upside down. This is the pocket which is the front. This would be the back going up. This is where your seat belt comes through. So this would be the center of the seat. They tell you to tie eight of the cords to here, right? Then, I don't know if you can see them tabs. You're going to be tucking this to the back of the seat, which I'll take a picture. Then you go up and tie it. I still don't think they're long enough. We do have paracord. The bottom, we're going to wait. This would be the pouch. Like I said, it's inside out. So this would be your front. Got the side. Here's your pouch. And the wind's going to blow it away. It's very, getting very breezy out. Uh, we're not going to worry about the ones on the bottom and the front. They're easy to get to. These are, all, are hard to get to because they're going to tuck between the seat. So... We'll get this thing in there and we'll, you'll be finding out whether these strings are long enough to tie up on these. See how that's made where it fits over the back of the seat? You can actually see the corner of it. See that? That's how it fits over the back of the seat. So, like I said, it's inside out right now. So, stay tuned. We'll get it on the seat. We'll see what it looks like. Okay, this is the seat rod. We're going over the seat rod. You can't go between, it's common sense. I think they're long enough. Watch the string come up. See where it goes? Okay, we're gonna carefully put the seat back and then put the top up on top of it. Is that clear? I don't think it is. We've done this before, but boy, a lot of years ago. Stay tuned, we'll figure this out. Okay, we got the seat folded back. Got the sub on top. We'll pull the head again. I like the seat. You can open it from either side. See these latches? You want to need a side with a long rod. Okay, then we're going to start tying these off. Tie this string to these loops. But we got to start in the middle so we make it even. Seat valves will do it last. They're flopped back there. They'll fit through. Okay, we're getting out of frame here. Stay tuned. We're trying to make these real short clips. Okay, these are only like a half knot in case I got to readjust them just to hold it. We're going to fold the seat back and see what it looks like. Okay, it looks okay. Uh, kind of wish the seat belt slots were further back. But I don't want to tighten that up too tight down in there. You know, get in the frame here. That, that's enough to get to the seat belt. I don't want to really super tight and stretch this thing. Uh, when I can always readjust it over a period of time as it stretches and relaxes and everything. So, it's at the front. I don't know if I'm going to show much to the front. The front, I'm just going to tie a string, then loop it underneath the seat and bring it back out and tie it to, tie it to the next loop. So, I'll probably use less strings than what they tell you to use. Uh, the corners, I'll probably just give you a picture of how I do the corners. Hook whatever you can hook to. Uh, like, go back down around. Something like that. And then maybe down, I went under here before on this brace. No, that's a no-no because the seat messed up when th this moves when you lift the seat ahead. So I'm going to go down underneath the seat and tie a string and bring it up then tie it. So stay tuned. We'll try to give you as much of this as we can. Okay, the one in here just goes up to whatever here. This one I got lucky. There's a hook down there, in there for some reason. It's kind of hard to do this one because watch when I put the seat back. See that? You can't tie this back too tight because it messes up when you try to move the seat ahead. When you try to tilt it. See that? You got to be kind of careful how you tie it. But that's the best I can do over here. So the other side will be the same thing, hopefully. Okay, down here it's all metal under there. But I found a place for those, I call the hog rings. Pulled the poles together. So I got the string run through there then tied these two together there's two different loops here so the corner is kind of puffy iffy but it'll work got a little problem on the seat i'm gonna have to readjust the seat in the middle where the, i tied it too tight i need to loosen that up and if i got to cut the string and start over and then pull some more at the back and tighten it up so uh, it's kind of hard to get this situated with the pouch right here in one so i tied it too tight i wasn't paying attention I'll go back and redo that. Okay, we're done. We left that the center of the pouch 
too tight on purpose we just left it because uh, we don't want to mess with it today we still got the pouch kind of you know it's if you look you can kind of see it it's kind of baggy on the corners there and stuff we're gonna leave it for a while and let this thing rest and adjust and we can always readjust the back but uh, we tried pulling the back in further that brings that up too far of course so we tried going forward it just didn't work out right so we just left it because we tried it out here so the center is tight we don't have as much pouch we tightened it might be all the better but had to do what we had to do okay there we go thanks for watching we'll leave you some pictures